Al Fanks, this morning on today's Woman, taking care of your health. It's National Women's Checkup Day, and Women's Health Magazine contributor Dr. Carrie Peterson is here with a decade by decade checkup list. Dr. Peterson, good morning. Good morning, Anne. We've been talking about this thing all morning, but the truth is that the reason we have a National Checkup Day, and also this is National Women's Health Week, mm -hmm. is that we don't really think about it without having a kind of reminder that we're having yeah. here. What is our problem? I know yesterday we celebrated the women taking care of us, but we have to take care of ourselves. And this government initiative, which was created by the Department of Human and Health Services, was designed to empower women to make health a top priority and to educate them about improving their health. Because early <laughs> detection is the are the key words. If you that detect it early, key. then you are going to live longer because you can deal with it early. That's right. But. It's hard to remember how many tests we've got to go through. So let's talk about this sure. decade by decade. Um, in our 20s and 30s, what are the absolute must-haves in your view? So the first thing is you want to get your blood pressure checked. That should be done every two years because it is a significant risk factor for heart disease and stroke. And along with that, you should have your cholesterol checked every five years. And you want all parameters checked. You want your LDL, your triglycerides, and your HDL. Also importantly, you want to have your pap smear. Start that in your 20s, and you should get it every year. But if you've had three consecutive normal pap smears in your 30s, then you can go to every three years. Other important things, you want to do a mole check every month. You want to check your skin, changes in moles in size, shape, and color. And if you find anything, bring it to your doctor's attention. And if you haven't had a tetanus shot in the past 10 years, make sure you get that. Why? Um, because it actually, the tetanus uh, bacteria is a very deadly disease, and it is so easily preventable. Huh. And people forget about it because they think, oh, I'm never going to step on a rusty nail. But protect yourself. All right. And also, you say have your thyroid checked. Yeah, that should be done at age 30. 35 because women can get an underactive thyroid which can cause weight gain and fatigue and women may not realize it and that should be checked every two years. So what you can do is you can go to your doctor and basically go with the list and maybe sort of do this as a one-stop shopping as much as possible yes. knowing that there's a variety of years there but you can just sort of, this is my health day I'm gonna go in and get that done. Absolutely. I've done that by the way. You should. I got yelled at by a doctor so I ended up doing that. Okay in your 40s mm -hmm. now by your 40s you have already should have already begun having mammograms. That's right? correct. You and there's some debate about when you should start. There is, but the consensus still is begin in your 40s, do them every one to two years until your 50s, and then you can do it annually. And you also say you should have your eyes examined, for, not just for glasses, but That's for... That's right, and a lot of people don't realize how important eye health is until it's compromised. You need to screen for glaucoma. It often has no symptoms, and it's easily prevented and treated. So get your eyes checked every two years, starting when you're 40. And also you say diabetes. That's right. You should start screening your blood sugars every three years once you are 45 years old. So, you know, it's interesting because so far some of these things you've suggested that we do are really about preventing ourselves from becoming, in other words, it's not just about early detection. It's about doing, figuring out, for example, I've got high cholesterol, I need to change my diet or change my Absolutely. eating. Absolutely. So that's a good idea. Okay, now the 50s. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Colon screening. Yes. Fun. Yes. Important, however. And very. if you have a clean bill of health, you don't have to go very often. That's correct. You should be doing a colonoscopy every 10 years. And I know people dread it, but it is one of the most important things you can do to protect yourself from colon cancer. I'm surprised that it's every 10 years and not sooner, every five years or something. You know, the guidelines do say every 10 years. Here in New York, a lot of the physicians are doing it every five years, but it depends on your access to a gastroenterologist. Mm -hmm. And in addition, in your 50s, you should be starting to get your hearing checked because you want to detect hearing loss to, again, take preventative measures. So, let me understand that so far, you've given us all these tests for our different ages, but is this cumulative? Should yes, I be it still is. doing the tests that I was doing in my 30s and my 50s? Yes, for the majority of things we talked about, yes. That seems like a lot. It is, but your doctor knows all these things, so you should just go in there once a year and they will take care of it. Okay, in your 60s and beyond, you're looking at um, eye health again. Yes, even more important when you get in your 60s because now you're at risk for macular degeneration mm. which is an age-related cause of blindness mm. so you want to do both the glaucoma and that exam every year now and and you know we hear all often that when you get older you should have a flu vaccine every mm -hmm. year you suggest that as well I do and also um, worrying about pneumonia that's right as you age pneumonia can actually become deadly so you should get your pneumonia vaccine at age 60 and osteoporosis is a bigger concern it as really you get older. is very important to screen for it 
as you age, you should start at age 65 and get a bone density every two years thereafter. Okay, so these are the fundamental tests. Yes. It sounds like a lot, but bottom line, if we do this, it's actually not just a gift to ourselves, it's a gift to our families. That's 